I'm Cheryl Waters. Thank you so much for joining us here at KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, 92.7 FM in the Bay Area, and streaming around the globe at kexp.org and also on the KEXP mobile apps. I'm down here in the KEXP studios with a friend we've known for a very long time, and we are so very excited about the new album, Love and Sex and Fear of Death. It's star Anna. Welcome. Take it away.
Star Anna, live on KEXP.
Star Anna live on KEXP. Songs from the new album, Love and Sex and Fear of Death. Such a treat to be hearing these today. The album doesn't come out for a month.
You're listening to Star Anna. We're live here in the KEXP studio. Songs from the upcoming album Love and Sex and Fear of Death coming out on July 20th, I believe.
That was fabulous. You're listening to Star Anna live on KEXP, that song called Pure Magic. That's what this entire performance is and this new album. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. It is such a pleasure to have you here. It's been far too long. And boy, I was thinking back to when we first had you in studio. You were just a baby. I was. I was <laughs> a little one. Like 2008, 2009. Yeah. You've been making music for a long time, but it's been a minute. It has. It was a good, a good break. I'm back. Well, I'm so glad. I know you put this album together a few songs at a time as funds became available. And you're doing some crowdfunding. You have a GoFundMe page for the, to help make this new album. What was it like creating the album with this grassroots approach, knowing that your fans, the people who love your music, were helping you put it together and make it a reality? Does it make the album feel different? Definitely. And it's it's exciting and scary and uh but it's 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 felt really good to know that there are a lot of people that want to want to hear it want to want to help me get it out and um so it's definitely added to the just my heart has gone into this album uh entirely and i feel there's a lot of a lot of fans out there who have put their heart into it as well, and it's been cool. It sounds like you've gone into the studio with a few songs just a batch at a time as funding was available to you, but how do you think that sort of made the album come out in the end? I mean, did you enjoy doing that, not just like going away and sequestering yourself for a period of time and trying to sort of smash everything out? Did it did it feel different doing that little bits at a time? Um, It's usually been like normally we I guess we would do like all the songs uh and then do come back later maybe and then add some extra parts or redo the vocals um but with this uh doing a couple songs at a time a lot of the songs I have on this album I, I built in garage band and uh so I kind of had a blueprint I kind of had a plan of how the songs were going to go and we kept some of the stuff that I that I used in put in garage band but then um the musicians that play on the album uh sort of was like all right here's how this is but like let's let's elevate it and uh make it even bigger and and better so it was nice to kind of just focus on a few songs at a at a time and and then at the end feel like all of the songs stand up together at, at the same level. It turned out great. And you've said that every song on the new album means a lot to you and that writing the songs helped you process and work through a lot over the last few years. And in an article, you talked about how the songs that make up the new album are a way to help you navigate this sort of existential identity or anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't become your identity. Right, yeah. But can you talk a bit about that, how things going on in the world in your life were reflected in these songs? Yeah, it's, uh, so, you know, some of the, some of the, couple of the songs are, are, are older, pre-pandemic, and, uh, and then there was like a good good year and a half or so, two maybe, before I even wrote what would be the third song and then the rest uh, on this album. But, um, and it's almost weird, like, a, like I was prepping myself or preparing myself for things to come that I didn't know were coming, um, but were gonna involve a lot of grief. And, and it's just something, I mean, that, everybody experiences everybody goes through and uh so I'm, I'm i'm glad in that aspect that the things that i thought i was overwhelmed and 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 feeling grief about as i was writing the album and then to kind of come out and and realize oh there's even bigger things now that i i'm glad i did some of the work to to prepare myself for, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's been, I think it's always been a thing on, on my mind ever since I was little, uh, just that anxiety of like, what, what comes next? What's, and I know that I can't answer that. Uh, I just have to figure out, we all have to figure out how to find peace and and hope that, Hope that we can handle all the stuff. 
Well, as you've processed your grief, you talked about in interviews how you come to discover that what's more, most important is kindness, patience, and love, and that ultimately love is all that matters, and that's sort of reflected in the, the title of the album. Yeah, it really is. It's, uh, you, there's all the inevitable things like death and... Uh, but love is the is the one thing that it just keeps coming back to. The one thing is like, how do we make it worth it? How do we make it worthwhile that we're here? How do we uh, n navigate anything? And it's with kindness and with love and the little bits at a time we can try and create a more kind and loving world just by creating that in, in ourselves and sharing it. And, uh, yeah. Well, there's all kinds of love. And I have to say, I have mad love for every song on this record. Oh, it's hard to pick a favorite. I keep going back to Blood and Bubblegum, which I understand is a fave of yours as well. And you did an acoustic rendition of that today, which was beautiful. Thank you. What is it? I play it over and over. I just love it so much, just the way it moves and sways. What do you love so much about that song? Um, uh, on the recording, well, for the for the album, uh, there's a lot of really fun sounds in it. Um, that, like in the in the beginning, there's like this weird crystally sound, and it's just very like textural. Uh, at the end, there's a sound that sounds like a lawnmower that's like driving like by the window while you're like trying to watch TV, and it's like, Wah! and then it gets quiet again. But it just kind of reminded me of like being younger and and my dad mowing the lawn and just kind of hearing it in the background, and and just like, and then I smell grass, cut grass, and it just brings all these like. Uh, feelings to that I that I really enjoy, and um, and and the song originally when I wrote it uh, was just kind of how we played it. That's today and um, coming up with that way that we do it on the album with the just letting the drums really drive it, and um, it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to to play. Should get a get a lawnmower on stage with you. Yeah, <laughs> who wants to play that? <laughs> Anyone? Well, you've said that you feel most like your true self when you're in the studio or on stage playing and creating music, and I imagine it feels wonderful to be back out performing live in front of an audience. I mean, watching you perform live. I mean, if you want to be, I don't know if that's the path you want to take. You should be a megastar. I mean, everyone needs to see you perform live. It is just incredible to be in a room with you in this band. It just you draw me in like a magnet, and your songs have so much depth and so much beauty. I'm not the only one who feels that way. I mean, you've had legions of fans going back to the very beginning. I mean, Mike McCready of Pearl Jam is a longtime fan, even recorded a song with you, Mark Pickerel of Screaming Trees, and has tons of solo music, also a big fan and supporter. Duff McKagan said, early in your career, you're gonna be a megastar. I mean, is that the path you want? I feel like you should be playing massive stages around <laughs> the world. I mean, yeah, it, if it, I want to pay the bills and uh, live a comfortable life. Uh, I want to be able to uh, have a, a lot of pets that I can also take to the vet, and uh, you know, when they need it, and and just things like that. I I, I want to I want to do this because this is what I love, and this is why I'm still doing it, uh, even when it is hard to pay the bills. Um, because it does feel like most, like myself, like, and if I got to do this all the time uh, and pay the bills would be so awesome. <laughs> it would just be like a dream come true. Well, we need to put our heads together. Everyone listening, everyone watching, tell all your friends, let's get out and see star Anna yeah. and get her around the world. Because really, I mean, the songs are incredible, but watching you perform, I just, uh, it, it takes my breath away. It's so amazing. And also, that makes me, I, I was very disappointed that Forrest was not here today. I know, uh, I know. He says hi. He sends his love. Uh, he hangs out at, at home a lot now. He's a little, he's a little he's, older boy. Uh, yeah, but he's been around for a while. Yeah. Well, uh, Forrest is star Anna's beagle that has been to almost every in-studio that she's ever been to, so I expected to see him today. Yeah. Luckily, the performance more than made up for it. He was in the studio, though, overseeing the whole recording, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... He, 
You can get yes. his stamp of approval. Listeners can go online and watch, uh, see pictures of the making of this record. And uh, Forrest is a star for sure. <laughs> Always. <laughs> well, thank you all so much. You sound fantastic. The whole band. I mean, you really, as I mentioned, all those names, you have legions of fans among talented musicians. And so obviously you have your pick of the best musicians uh, to play with you, which is evidence here, here they today. Are. They are. They sound yeah. great. They're wonderful. I've... I'm stoked to be playing with them. Well, get out and see Star Anna any chance you can get. Again, thank you to all of you. Thank you so much, Cheryl. You're listening to KEXP, where the music matters. Thank you so much to all of our listeners and viewers for supporting listener-powered music and discovery. You can find out more about us at kexp.org. And again, we're powered by you, so consider a gift in any amount to continue this great music discovery. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get notification every time we launch a fantastic new video like this one coming soon. Once again, Star Anna live on KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.